Yeah. Or, or, or you can do it. True. Because. Well, so I, I don't know where, let me, before you, before you finish. Okay. 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 Uh, I think what you've seen is because CrossFit HQ hasn't provided it. Other businesses have popped up to provide it. Mm -hmm. So two brain, uh, best hour of the day, uh, fit affiliate. They've developed these third party mentorship programs that are providing that level of service. So it's not really coming from CrossFit anymore. It's these other entities that have come up and they're doing great with it. I listen to their podcasts all the time. They have yeah. some really great information. I learn more from them than I'm learning from CrossFit HQ. And which that should not happen at all. Which, which is my point is that when you have 14,000 affiliates and you are paying a, a licensing fee, I think we have an issue when I'm learning more about running the business from them than I am to the brand that I'm representing. Mm -hmm. And I think their level of communication also needs to continue to level up because I found out about the affiliate fee increase from morning chalk up. <laughs> so again, when you're in it as an affiliate owner and you're having to get information from third party uh, entities, I think, yeah, it needs to level up a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you should start a class on, on social, social media. media. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, you can do it. I mean, yeah. the, the only way, the only reason why, like, I mean, not the only reason, but like, you know, the first time meeting you was mainly through TikTok, which yeah. you blew up in. And then like, all of a sudden, like after the podcast we did, like you were starting getting like, ab like brand deals and like all these things coming yeah. up. And I'm like, holy crap, like this guy is killing it. Like he, like he knows how to work the social media stuff. And there was a, there was a point I was making more for more from brand deals than I was at my affiliate. That was, that's insane. It's, but like, but you, you know, you, I mean, uh, you know, you know, the space of social media and like how it works. And you've probably seen a lot of, you know, gyms that post like that that have a social media page and you're like like let's say you go on vacation yeah. and you go to their gym you go to their social media page and it's absolutely garbage and you're like okay is it really worth me going to this gym or should i go another like five ten miles down the road because okay. this gym looks a lot better than this one because we get members either through when they google crossfit gym near me and then they go look at our social media and that's also how we're getting these uh, events that we're coming in because people are coming and seeing our social media and seeing the space. Uh, but even like I know CrossFit is providing uh, reels and stories. There, there's a library for that that the affiliates have access to, mm -hmm. which is great. But I don't put that on my social media page because those aren't my members and that's not my space. Exactly. And so, how, and how old are they? And, and they don't represent who we are. Yeah. But what I've done is I've taken a lot of those reels and YouTube videos and through certain apps, you can extract the audio and the voiceover. So you have the CrossFit paid for voiceover announcer. And then I just overlay that on videos of our members in our space. So it, it feels a little bit more professional mm -hmm. than me just talking on, on the phone and doing the voiceover. And those have resonated really well with our followers and the people that are seeing our social media. Yeah. And it's like, it, yeah, it's like, I, I definitely do think people need to learn how to do social media a lot better. A yeah. lot better because some some of the jams it's like it's so bad <laughs> yeah like you really should not post put this on there and, and at least like do some like i they, they may be trying to do some work but they kind of still don't get, get the grasp of like how it works but like you know like for me with doing youtube like i'm constantly looking at like tips and tricks and like right. how to do like how to 
make this podcast better, like reading books and stuff like that. You know, with social media, it's a little harder for reading books because some of them might be outdated, but like you may get some nuggets here and there, but it's just like, just constantly learn how to do it. And like, yeah, okay. If you fail, whatever or get like, don't get the likes, but you know, you have to make it aesthetically pleasing for everyone to look at it and be like, Oh, okay. This is, this is, this, this is the gym I want to go to for like a exactly. drive. Yeah, exactly. So. It's a creative vibe. Mm -hmm. And no one, and they can't create a vibe because they just don't, they think their vibe that they see and start putting on is not the, like it's not the vibe that they're really looking for, but they just think it because it's what they like. Uh, do you listen to uh, Stu Bauer of WTF Gym Talk? No, I, I, I don't. No, he has a lot of good social media tips and tricks. I, uh, because I, we used to do our social media, and I see what a lot of people do is they are posting things for their members, and not, for, and they're already there. You know, you've already got their, their, they're already paying a membership. Yeah. So we're posting things about, you know, like Sally got her 300 pound back squat today. That's not really bringing new people in. Oh yeah. Yeah. So I've really tried to focus on posting things of that's trying to get new members coming in rather than posting a lot about existing members and showcasing them per se. Yeah. The committed club, uh, um, a lot of gyms are doing the committed club and that's really resonated well too. Yeah. I mean, it, it's cool seeing like people posting about like, you know, doing a PR that day or whatnot, but it's just like, that's not really helping you get more clients coming in. Correct. So, but, um, so with, with your TikTok, you've obviously got, I've got more, got more subscribers and followers or whatever. So like, what, what have you seen for the trends kind of? Are they changing or what do you think about the possible ban of TikTok? So uh, I post mostly on Instagram, uh, but sometimes I'll post on TikTok. So I'm the TikTok ban, I don't think is going to happen. Mm -hmm. No, that's not, it's not, no. Um, I'm not too worried about that. Um, Instagram, though, is where most of our new members are coming from. And mm -hmm. taking a look at uh, our social media through that, uh, but I'm noticing that with our reels, we're getting more exposure to non-followers on Instagram. So we we're, we're using that as mostly as our our form of marketing right now. Mm -hmm. And even for your page, your personal page, I mean, you're at like seven, almost like 18K. 18, yeah. yeah, yeah, close to that. So do you, do you think having your shirt off kind of helps out get the followers? <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> yeah. You know, you got to give them, you got to give them what they want. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I would love to do that, but the problem is like, I, like the gym I go to, like, I don't want to take my shirt. Like it's your gym. But yeah, fine. Well, you could do whatever the hell you want, but it's just like, like it's, it's an indoor gym and I'm like, there's no doors to go outside right. or anything like that. So I'm like, I don't want to take my shirt off. I, when I take my shirt off for like a lift or something like that, I'm like, I feel so awkward. Well, in a CrossFit gym, you don't. True. I mean, you know, it's no big it's deal. The, Plus you're in San Diego, the weather is beautiful. Oh yeah, of course. I mean, it's like Georgia, like, you know, the winter time is like 40 degrees or probably less than that. Yeah. And so it's just like, yeah, there's no way I'm taking my shirt off for that. No, thank yeah. you. So <laughs> yeah, the, the shirtless photos help a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> note, note to self, start doing that more. So. <laughs>